Here we are again. Welcome, friend. Bienvenidos. Bueno, bienvenido, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, friend, in Spanish. <laughs> we also run free Spanish lessons here at the channel. Um, do you want to tell us about the adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Espanol? Las aventuras de Sherlock Holmes <sighs> en español. <laughs> that was an old Spanish joke. Uh, how have you been? It's been a while, haven't it? Like hey, 15 hey, minutes. Shh, movie magic, movie magic. It's been weeks <laughs> since we saw you last. Oh, I'm yes. getting us dressed and everything. Look. Oh, oh you changed. Better. I didn't change again. Oh, I'm just a dirty, dirty person. Oh. They've been, it's, it's, it's. It's, uh, you've ruined it. I'm going to say that we've been off to the Riviera. Um, oh, yes, with our tans here. Yeah, We're absolutely. So tanned. You don't know, movie <laughs> land. No, we've, we've done a case. We're going to do another case. This one is case number 74. Have oh. you been keeping track? Have you been keeping score? We've won two now because guess what? Macedonia is in the Balkans. Yes. Hey, so our last... Oh, sh I'm not going to say any more, okay? If you haven't seen the last case... That was just a fun fact. That was just a fun fact. Got <laughs> nothing to do with nothing at You know what I just realised <laughs> about this? Yeah. We've been playing with our lovely viewer, yep. viewers, with any luck, fingers mm. crossed, <laughs> um, this wonderful game of 221B Baker Street. Because playing together, we go through the clues and we can get... If we get it in five clues, we are master detectives... Six to eight sleuths, nine to eleven detectives, twelve gumshoes, thirteen Scotland Yard inspector, and fourteen, of course, Watson. So hopefully we get master detectives this time. Hopefully you do too. But I just realised, if they have the game themselves, yeah. right, and they are playing, they could play against us. You could. Because Pause they've got the cards, yeah. and they can see where they would want to go if they don't want to go the same place we're going. And they could be like... You guys are idiots. I solved it ages ago because I went to the park instead of the hotel. Yeah, but then they're using our our clues to not go where we haven't got. I mean, it's cheating is important part. Of the game. It is strategy. Mm -hmm. So hey, if you're doing that, power to you. Whatever works for you. What we, case do we have today? We have, my dear Watson, case number seventy four. Seventy four. If you were playing along with us in seventy three, is of course Sherlock Holmes and the Swiss cheese. Let's poke some holes, please. <laughs> From, of course, the journals of Dr. Watson. Yeah. Shall I read out the case? Are you ready at home? You're ready with your notepad? Fantastic. Mm. Here we go. An interesting dive... <laughs> okay. I'm going to show this um, to my fiancé and see if um, the word is what I think it is. Divertisement. That's what, that's what's written on there. Okay. Like like a, a diversion, like a, a entertaining diversion. I yes. think you might be right. I am right. I'm smart. Vocab expert. <laughs> First time I've seen the word, and I am not young. <laughs> An interesting divertisement upon which I have not previously remarked occurred on our way home after visiting Rome to investigate the death of Cardinal Tosca. After our exertions, we decided to make a leisurely and relaxing return journey through Europe. Actually, divertisement might be that they went in a different direction. A diversion, yes. A diversion, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. We're on the same page. Mm. Our plans were disrupted when our train was temporarily halted due to a substantial rock slide in the Swiss Alpine village of Maringen. Oh, there's going to be some accents coming. I can feel it in my waters. The famous Rackenbach Falls were nearby, and whilst we sipped afternoon chocolate in the cafe, we reminisced over Holmes's famous adventure there. Suddenly, the peaceful scene was interrupted by a dramatic commotion. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, Dios mío. We're not in Mexico. 
Mexico. That's your Mexican accent. I was accent. Spanish. I was <laughs> joining the Spanish lesson. That was your Mexican accent. <laughs> yeah. H to their phone. Everyone's a critic. Holmes was almost knocked over by a small man bursting through. Apparently, you don't want to do a small man bursting through sound effect. <laughs> okay that's all we got for you um apparently the wealthy industrialist klaus von kring had fallen to his death from the notorious schwarzenfels or black crag a precipitous crag high above the village he came here for the sake of his health said the village policeman in halting English. That was halting English, right? I think so. Yeah. Mm. Herr von Kring no doubt feels cheated at the turn of events. Oh, sorry, that was Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Herr von Kring no doubt feels cheated at the stern turn of events. He came Let here us. for his health. Yeah, get it. Right? Yeah. Let us follow the case, Holmes. Let's follow the case, Watson. Oh, my God. Von Kring was in his mid-40s, balding and overweight. What's that like, I wonder? Um, he was in Tyrolean dress and had obviously died of his injuries sustained in a fall, presumably from the ledge 200 feet above. There were no other signs of violence. Still strapped to the body was a small knapsack. It contained a smashed bottle of hock, a loaf, now soggy, and a substantial segment of immantel cheese. Immantel cheese, I think that's going to be important. Yeah, because Swiss cheese is a form of immantel cheese. Is it? Yes. You learn something every day. Okay. Um, Holmes clambered up the narrow pathway to the viewing point. A glorious view from here, Watson. Pity your leg is paining you. You didn't know Cumberbatch was going to be here this evening, did you? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's why we're together. Mm. Mm. Ah, I see. Part of the edge has crumbled. Here is von Kring is where von Kring went over. At least he gazed upon this beautiful valley in his last moments. Holmes clamoured down. Remind me to purchase a postcard view of it, Mr. H- for Mr. Hudson, when we get back to our hotel. He really just doesn't care about this man's death. What this... a great view this is! Mm, let me get a postcard. Oh, wow. On you, Holmes. You mean we're staying? Of course. Von Kring was an illustrious man. It may be that his death was one of misadventure. The truth may be more sinister. I don't really know Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't know how bad that is. That's really Only bad. from like Doctor Strange. I never watched this series. Um, whatever lies at the bottom of this, I shall be interested to discover what happened here on the Schwarzenwells. Not an hour ago. The game's afoot. Hang, hang on. Hold the proverbial police box, people. Um, there's no A, B, C or D here. What do they want us to do? We just have to find out everything that happened, I suspect. It doesn't say. Find out why he fell, how he fell, who did what. There's no A, B, C or D. It's not a misprint. Check that out if you've got the box. Does your card have no A, B, C, or D, or E on it? We are freewheeling it here, people. Not only that. Free fallen. But we are going to have to go into our 3D Imaginarium, I suspect. Yeah. Because we are in a Swiss town, which happens to have a Scotland Yard, a dock, a news agents, and a 221B Baker Street, apparently. We've, we're in Switzerland. Okay. We've still got our board. Right. We've got to do what we got to do. All right. Imaginarium's on, people. Activate. Right. So... Apple juice ready. He had a smashed bottle. Yep. Some cheese and bread. 
Smash bottle of hock. A loaf. Yeah. Which is soggy. And what was he wearing? He was wearing Tyrolean dress. Now, I don't know what that is. Is that climbing gear or is that fancy evening wear? What or is Tyrolean dress? Or is it Swiss. a native sort of Swiss thing? Yeah. Um, clogs yeah. and all. Do they do clogs in Switzerland? That's Holland. Oops. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Off to a flying start. Oh, my goodness. Um, where in our map of London do we feel we'll most be successful in finding clues to this oh, Swiss sorry. mystery? Swiss mystery. <laughs> hey, hey, Swiss miss. Um, um, hotel, perhaps. Uh, yeah. It would be They're travelling. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. You with um, us? We are going to the hotel first. And oh, my God. Swiss accents. Here we go. 949. 949. Lots and lots of pines. Here in Switzerland at 949. Ready? Resident in the hotel was Friedrich Humboldt, son of Fritz Humboldt, the recently deceased prize winning chemist. Who's that dead person? Von Kring. Wait. So. Who, whose son is he? He's the son of prize-winning chemist Fritz Humboldt. Maybe... No. Did you get the wrong one? No, this is, this is Humboldt. This is the Swiss chemist's son. Yeah. Okay. Famous prize-winning chemist. So, I don't think we've met yet... The Humboldts? No. Maybe we should. Maybe we should go to the chemist. Maybe we should go to the chemist. Shall this is going to take us everywhere on the board. Mm. Okay. Okay, to the chemist? To the chemist. All right. Uh, our guy was poisoned and he fell to his death. Done. But was it the cheese or was it the hock? Or the bread. Well, it depends. It was a full wheel of cheese. Was there a bite in the cheese? I suppose we'll have it to... It was... Yeah. Mm. yeah it didn't tell yeah. us. Didn't chemist. Tell us. Chemist. We are going to go to the chemist and we are going to look up 959. Was it the cheese or was it the wine? I think we need to go to the Nine boar's head for the wine. But... 559. Yeah, chemist. The small man who collided with Mr. Holmes in the cafe was Carl Necker. Carl Necker. Can you spell that? C A R L N E C K E R Necker. Necker. Yeah. Okay. Carl Necker is short and in a rush. Mm hmm. A he... rush for some reason. Yeah. Bowled right over Holmes. But he's not Fritz Humboldt, the he's prize not. winning chemist. Or his son. <laughs> Other Humboldt. Mm. I think we need to go to the Boar's Head. Boar's Head? Yeah. For, All right. for the wine. Go to the boar's head. Oh, off your trot. Holmes. Boar's head. Eight. Nine. One. Now we're having fun. Eight. Nine. One. I noticed a strong smell emanated from the emmental cheese. There it is. Cheese is funky. Now, this is a long shot, I admit. It's only clue number three, but bear with me here, right? Because mm -hmm. we're freewheeling. We don't know A, B, C, or D, what we're looking for. But yeah. I think the cheese was old and mouldy. Fungus grows in mouldy areas, and there's those ants that eat that fungus, and then the fungus grows inside them, and it makes them climb to the top of trees, and, and latch onto the trees and then the fungus grows out of their head and kills them and then the fungus blooms no, no. and all these he was little poisoned. Spores. He so, was poisoned, but not by fungus. Just squash my fungus ant idea from the... It was just germinating inside Let's us. Let's go back oh. to the last one with his giant squid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hang on. Hang on. There was a squid that washed up on the shore. Yeah. All right. Okay. Get on. Yeah. <laughs> Newspaper. He's a man of means. Let's go to the news agents. This is a um, but right, He's illustrious and we go to the bank if he's a man of means. Oh, that's true. Oh, I know. All right. Bank. We- Bank first, then the news agent, maybe. Oh, yeah. I mean, or maybe the Swiss version of Scotland Yard is what we need to get. Uh, bank. See the blankers. Nine eight seven. Poor Fritzy's gone to heaven. Nine eight seven. All right. Nine eight seven. Here we go. I recall that Fritz Humboldt committed suicide in Venice three months ago. That's the illustrious chemist guy. Mm Mm-hmm. Curious. Didn't he work for Von Kring? Said Holmes. Okay. So, Fritz Humboldt. Friedrich's dad committed suicide three months before... And he worked for Von Kring. He didn't commit suicide. Friedrich Humboldt has been staying in the hotel just waiting for Von Brink to come. So he's he got dad poisoned... in the cupboard somewhere. No. No, dad's dead. But he was killed by Von Brink. And the son oh, is, vengeance. is here for vengeance. And he has poisoned Von Brink. Using chemistry, his father's only weapon. In the cheese, and so he fell to his death because gastritis or uh, botulism. <laughs> I'm going. I'm. Um, what? Are, oh. He's still thinking about the head fungus. The head fungus. The no, ants. it's poison. It's all there. It's poison. It makes them climb things. He fell off a ledge. Okay. No. All right. All right. All right. All right. Maybe it wasn't even his cheese. Maybe he was attacked with a wheel of cheese that went over the cliff with him. No. <laughs> We're going to Scotland Yard. We're going to Swedish Scotland Yard. This, this, is, is, this is the last one to be Master Detectives. All right. Oh, <laughs> all right. This, was it the Swedish chef? The Swedish chef? From the Muppets. <laughs> Let's go talk to the Swedish chef. Let's see what he says. He says, bar, 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 bar. <laughs> Oh, God's sake. Okay. Your poison idea is out of... The autopsy confirms... The autopsy confirms Von Kring had died of a broken neck. Can't be poison and a broken neck. He died of a broken neck. It's not... See... But so the the cheese was just stinky because it's because it's mental cheese because it's stinky. Okay, it's just stinky cheese. Just stinky cheese. So who broke his neck, though, and how? I mean, it could have been in the cheese something to um, make him drowsy, mm. and he mm. ended up falling. Mm. Like mm. he wanted to like kidnap him, but instead of kidnapping him, fell to his death. Right. Did he break his neck in the fall or before the fall is the question that I'm asking. Well, it says it confirms he died of a broken neck. Yeah. So he died because of the fall. But did someone, like, push his neck and then push him over the edge so it looked like the fall that killed him? Mm, Maybe. All right. All right. Where are we going? was Was it a broken bottle? It was a broken bottle and soggy bread. Can't break someone's neck with, with a bottle. bottle I would yeah. Think. Um. So obviously we don't have enough to solve. You wanted to go to the news agent at some point. I did want to go to the news agent. It's got to be making papers. This illustrious person is is now dead. I Me mean, either there or the, or the theater because of his clothes. The theater, or the museum. Why? Why well, we start with news agents? Um. Mm. Sorry, if you're looking for another master detective episode, this is not the one. We go from Master Detectives down to Sleuths. We are going to check out the news agents. News agents. Let's go to the news agents. 917. I used to be a prom queen. 
You should see him in drag. <laughs> Maybe next case. You never know. Holmes was a master of disguise. He was, he was. Okay. 917, the broken hock bottle had not been open. Still had the cork in it. So the bottle weren't that killed him. Weren't drunk. No poison. Nothing in the bottle. I mean, Full he, bottle. He could have still been hit with the bottle. Hit with the bottle. Oh, but it was in the knapsack. So probably just broken the fall. Could have broken in the fall. Or did something hit him from behind? Mm. Over the ledge? Like, yeah. Whack. Yeah, so he was pushed. Yeah. Whoa. So I think here it's just basically the cheese is stinky because it's stinky. The bottle was broken because he was pushed and he fell. Mm. So he was pushed. Um, what does Carl Necker have to do with, with the price of fish? Right. I think that Friedrich Humboldt is in something with Carl Necker. Which one was Carl Necker? He's the small man who collided with Holmes. Ah, oh, the small one who collided with Holmes. But he, he, that could just be... Maybe that's his um, gig. Maybe he collides with people and he collided with the other guy, knocked him off the ledge, collides with Holmes. Maybe he's a professional collider. <laughs> or an assassin. <laughs> Collisions can assassinate people. What have we got? We're on six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. Right. We've got two more and then we're no longer sleuths. Yeah. Seven, um, eight. What about the pack? Why? Well, Alps, open regions, ledges, maybe that lends itself to it. A... Listen, Fritz Humboldt committed suicide in Venice, right? Mm-hmm. I want to go to the to museum. To the, I thought you were going to say the docks, because Venice, Italy, boats. Oh, true. True. That That's probably better. I um, still want to go to the pack. Docks first. Docks first. She says, you heard up. Pick it up and plonk it down on the docks. That's where we're going. 10, 48. 48. 1048. It's getting a bit late. Continued from the pawnbrokers. Oh, well, looks like we have to go to the pawnbrokers next. 1048. All right. Okay. He started crawling from the marks. Careful, Holmes, I cried. Don't go over the edge, too. Continued at the tobacconist. What? I think continued is more important. Well, no, but this was from the pawnbroker. Yeah, started at the pawnbroker. Holmes is crawling over the marks to get to something. Watson's saying don't go over the edge. I think we need to know what he finds rather than why he's there. Sure. Cool. Tobacconist. Tobacconist it is. Wacky Tobacky 935. Let's get... Pie. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Nine three five. So many, so many rhymes for five. Dive. Oh alive. yeah. Alive. Yeah. Alive. Malives. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm obviously great at rhyming. Okay. Continued from the docks. Holmes reached the point where Von Kring had gone over. I think we may say. Von Kring's death was caused by overexposure, he said with a grin. That is just Holmes being his mother. <laughs> Overexpo- overexposure. Is that a play on words, do you think? Overexposure from what? Overexposure to the edge of the cliff. Ding. Overexposure photography. You know, someone's there going back, back, a little bit further, and then woof. 
The marks. The marks. We went past the marks. Maybe the marks are tripod marks in the snow. Right. Maybe someone was taking his photo. Maybe we need to go to the pawnbroker. <laughs> Wait. It, what did it say? Continue the pawnbroker? So he was there on holiday. Yeah. And he went to that view um, to make sure that somebody could take a picture of him. It was, and he wanted a postcard of the view. He's he getting a picture. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it says continued at the theatre. Oh, well, theatre then. Right. So, running man. Yeah. Who bumps into Ames was hired by Friedrich's, Fritz's son, Friedrich. Humboldt. To pretend to take a photo of him and convince him to go over the edge. Yeah. Somehow to get the shot. Are we going to theatre? Yeah. We're going to be detectives, not sleuths. Yes. All right. We never know what we're supposed to figure out. <laughs> theatre. 108. Not 108. 1008. 1008. Let's hear it for the late great. 1008. I joined Holmes on the ledge and gazed at the footprints in the dust. But they lead away from the edge, I exclaimed. Mm -hmm. They point away. Holmes corrected. Yeah, this guy had his back to the edge. Yeah. And he was backing up because the foot lead, footprints yep. lead away. But he was walking backwards because someone was taking his snappy snaps. Yeah. We still Let's don't know who. This. Carl Necker or Friedrich Humboldt. We're already detectives. We okay. have two more clues. We get to what, 11? Yeah, 9 to 11 to be a detective. You got two. Okay. Um, we just want confirmation. Was it the fat running guy or. Did it say continued? Oh, jeez. You got me there. Where are we? Theater. 1008. No, that's the end of that line of inquiry. So I think we don't have to go to the pawnbroker pawn because we know what the end of yeah. that story is. So we've got <gasps> yeah, Locksmith we Museum or Park. Um, the park. Sure, and then museum. <laughs> it's got a park. Park, park, park. 1044, 1044. Let's bring it into shore at 1044. You sure? Yes, Holmes said, well, sorry. Hotel cook is what I'm thinking of. So that's a Swiss accent. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. go with yeah. Yeah, said Hotel Cook. I made up a small picnic for Herr von Kring this morning. I left it here for a few minutes and I went out. He had his favourite wine with him. That was dumb. That was dumb. Um, so, that was my bad, yep. everybody. The park was not helpful. Nope. Museum. You it's going to solve it. it. It's going to solve it. Going to solve it? The museum is going to solve it. 1019. 1019. Dancing Queen. 1019. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Here she goes. It's true. Exclaimed Frederick Humboldt. Mm -hmm. I hated von Kring. He ruined my father's reputation and career, drove him to suicide. But I didn't know he was staying at the Meringen. See, he didn't uh, know he was there. That's bullshit. Oh, so was it just a freak accident? Or was it Necker? Was Necker totally unrelated to Humboldt and wanted this man dead? See, this he hasn't is been it. mentioned anywhere. Um, you th like, you could go and solve it, but we might have the wrong man. We might have the wrong man. I mean, so far what I've written down is Carl Necker hired by Humboldt to get Von Brink over the edge. Revenge for Dad's death. Yeah. Maybe. 
maybe Necker was like um, chemist man Friedrich's um, Fritz's like assistant or something and was like just a friend of his not not related to Humboldt at all what do you reckon you reckon this running Necker dude is unrelated to the earlier suicide of Humboldt. We can solve it. All right, let's wrong. solve it. Let's just solve it. Let's do well, it. Well, I'm for Necker. I'm not for Humboldt being involved. Well, you and heard it here. Team captain. Valerie's going to decide. <laughs> no, um, you know, let's see who's right. Oh, split decision! Ding, ding, ding! Oh, wow. Okay. Let's find out. Who are you with? Make your call now. Or do you have a third option that we haven't even thought of yet? It's probably. Got nothing to do with cheese. It's probably so far. Yeah, the Where's locksmith. The well, Could just be a, a horrendous accident. Case number 74 Sherlock Holmes and the Swiss Cheese. An interesting diversion, Watson, but no more. A simple accident. Von Kring enlisted the services of Karl Necker, the local photographer. The dead man wanted a picture of himself on Schwarzenfels, with behind him that glorious view. My examination of the ledge indicates that the photographer several times asked Von Kring to step back in order to get more of the view in the picture. Too late, our German friend went over the edge to his doom. Gracious, how did you deduce that? Several things. The hawk had not been tampered with. Von Kring had not been drugged into dizziness. Also, I saw on the ledge the telltale marks of Necker's camera tripod. And remember the haste in which he collided with me at the cafe, still in shock and frightened he would be accused of murder. I am sure a gentle conversation with Herr Necker will confirm my analysis that von Kring plunged to an accidental death during a photographic session on the ledge. Half right. But you did say it at the end. We did, you did, yeah, I did squeeze, squeeze that in. It was probably an just option. an accident. So well, well, what I said was... You had the Humboldt's, Humboldt's, whatever their name is. Well, I said it was Carl Necker, but it well, was revenge. Yeah, yeah, for the death. I yeah. said Carl Necker unrelated. Yeah. And I suggested that our teammate might think it was an accident involving yeah. the photographer. So, well done you for solving the case. Why do you keep playing with us? Was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing innocent people in jail. Two different people have been arrested. <laughs> Over a simple photography accident, and that is why we have selfie sticks now. Because there's never been an accident since. Yes, the there <laughs> has. So many people have fallen from a precipice because of selfies. No, they need, yeah. <laughs> if anything, a guardrail, a nice little fence. Don't go across it, people. F- famous, famous idiots and, and, and legends. Anyway, we have solved. The non-solvable, because it wasn't a murder case after all, and that's why they gave us nothing to go off of, I guess. We should have known. We should have, we should have known. All right, but there's only one case left. Case number 75. We'll be saying goodbye to you after that. I we think. might actually change, and it'll be another day. Another week. Stop ruining the magic. <laughs> telling us, stop ruining the magic. They don't know. It's not another day. <gasps> Mia, quick. What? Quick. What? My camera. Let's reenact the events of the crime. Get our little, um, oh, what is it? It's a Kodak. A little Kodak beauty here. Oh, shit. That's all right. She comes out. She goes back in. There we go. All right. Kodak for the win. Built to last. I broke it. <laughs> no, I didn't break it. It's the real. It's the real, people. Everybody relax. Don't need that anyway. Who needs it? There we go. Okay. Okay, Mr. Hongbolt. Are you ready? 
Oh, I gotta look down for this one. Okay. Now, go back! A little bit more. Oh, just a little bit more. Just, I've almost got it. Uh, no, wait, Mr. Aldo, no! No, what have I done? I must run away. And <laughs> see. <laughs> we'll see you next time. NK75. Goodbye. <laughs>